Good morning everyone and welcome to Thursday's show. Now it's a little bit sad today because today's last day of our Christmas in July promotion but we are going to give you a fun filled packed show and make sure you get in and make the very most of Christmas in July while it's still here today. So of course I'm not alone today over in the producer station we've got the lovely Gemma and over in the demonstration station, my BFF this week Absolutely. is Rebecca. Good morning, everyone. I think, do you know what? I've actually seen the term on some of the Facebook groups as CFF, crafting friend forever. Oh, there we go. I Even think, better. I think we need to- BCFF. Yeah, best crafting <laughs> friends forever. Oh my goodness. It would get longer than the actual sentence, it would. wouldn't it? It really, really would. But definitely. Yeah, so we've got lots of fun demonstrations planned for today. We certainly do. A little bit of mix and match today as we recap on some of our amazing things we've brought to you during Christmas in July. But before we get into that, shall we have a recap on our week it, Win It Weekly competition? <laughs> Okay, so win it weekly today and tomorrow left guys to get your answers in. Today we are giving away these three gorgeous little books. We've got two of our rectangles and one of our square for you here. These are worth $29.97 and we are giving these away to four winners this week. So let's just have a quick flick through. I know I've showed you other days, but we'll go again. We've got our reindeers. Now, I love this pack because every single page contains a reindeer in some form, but there's a style to suit absolutely everybody. A reindeer for all occasions. Absolutely. You can never have too many reindeers. No, definitely not. And then we've got our beautiful Christmas Joy. A little bit more of a like traditional little book for you here. Oh, this one's so nice good mixture of your landscape and your portrait images in there fabulous for fussy cutting and if nothing else like we said before you've got 144 pages in there that's 144 christmas cards if you wanted to absolutely and then a beautiful square heavenly winter that's with the matastic finish that is great for just your winter occasions not just your christmas so for your chance to be in one of our four winners this week, we would like you to like, share and comment the answer to this question. What is the current world uh, the current record for the longest Yule log ever made? Is it A, 1,344.21 meters, B, 2,472.81 meters, or C, 1,136.36 meters? I love that they've put current so you know leaving our expectations open to it being made even longer in the future <laughs> the yeah the current <laughs> yeah record so get your answers in like share and mm. comment and the winner will be announced tomorrow oh it's gone quick this week hasn't it so shall we dive in to what we are bringing you today Ooh. I can't believe this Maybe is the, the last furniture. day that we're going to be um, showing these today, Kat. I know. It feels a bit sad, doesn't it? So we've got to start with our fabulous free gifts that we're giving you this week. So mm. Ooh, we only got one sheet left there. So any order that you place, you will get two of these free element sheets that are features from our Woodland Christmas Story collection. So it's the Woodland Story collection that you all know and love by now, but with that Christmas twist. And on these two sheets, with any order placed, you get these beautiful die cut out little toppers that will just, just add all those little details to your cards, just make up the beautiful festive scenes. Absolutely stunning. You get two of these sheets and they're free with every order. Incredible. They I'm really sure are I'm going amazing. to be showing some of these off to us today. I mean, just look, we've got the little mouses and like Grandma Fox and the little cat in the stocking. I love that one. And reindeers and moose. The squirrel. 
Oh, my mum's had a squirrel in a garden this week. Mega, mega cute. Oh, cutie. Absolutely I, gorgeous. I love the cat, though. He, he just is so that, grumpy. Is that face? Well, I, I, I think I said the other day, I think I'd be grumpy as well if somebody had stuffed me in a stocking. <laughs> gorgeous. So, that's with every order. If you spend with us today anything over £25, you are going to get this stunning coordinating collection of cardstocks. You're going to get eight sheets of printed cardstock and eight sheets of our A4 e inserts, four designs, two of each. So just look at all the detail all over that cardstock. You've got your, like, your beautiful damask green background. You've got all those elements there on that Christmas tree and then that lovely soft kind of like vintage yellow wallpaper finish around the edges. Gorgeous. And again, oh, this one I love. so many different things in here. You've got that fireplace and look, this is printed onto matte-tastic cardstock, but look at the luminosity you get in that, <coughs> pardon me, in that fireplace there. I know, you can just imagine all the characters sitting round, like all cosy and all. That's it. Your little stockings on the fireplace. You could put your little initials on there. And then this beautiful like foliage border here down the side that you could cut away and use for so many other things. So you get two sheets of that. And then this gorgeous nighttime snowy scene. And again, I find these absolutely incredible how luminous they are printed on that stock. I it know. It's so, so beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine placing all your little creatures on that scene. Two sheets of that. And then we move on to like our daytime snowy scene. Love so it. imagine doing some kind of like um, trifold or something. So you could have first in the daytime and then the nighttime and then sat in front of the fire. Oh, There's yes. loads of possibilities that you could have two of them absolutely love them and then on to our inserts that are the, basically the same just printed onto our insert paper with that much muted design but again not just for inserts you can be using these for your backgrounds oh, you can that. ink onto these you can like really tall nice torn edges give a really really nice effect on these so again, two each of each of the designs. And it's just going to really, really expand the craftability of what you've got here. Not only that, they're so beautiful. I can't believe we're giving them away. No, well, this is it. I mean, you've, you'd pay good money for, for inserts and cardstock like that, wouldn't you? Definitely. You know, and we're giving them away completely free. And now, this bad boy. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it free with all orders over 40 pound i mean I, I would be out there doing everything i could to spend 40 pound just to get this absolutely me too it is incredible and don't forget this is the very very last day that you're going to be able to get these added to your baskets with those purchases look a beautiful a woodland story eight by eight paper pad and I can't believe how much is crammed in here. It's 48 pages printed on 160 GSM double-sided papers. There's four times 12 different double-sided papers. It feels like so much more though. Oh, definitely. It's, so, it's a whole kit in a pad, isn't it? Absolutely. So you've got pages like this that are ready-made toppers for you. You just need to cut them, cut them out. And I love, they give, I don't know if you can make it out on the thing here. On the edges around the side, you've got like that little white line in the middle. So you've got about three different places you can cut. You can follow your cut lines depending on the pro the project that you're making. Yeah, yeah, so easy, isn't it? If you're not confident with fussy cutter and like those square ones, you can line up to your trimmer yeah. as well. And then you've got the beautiful snowy background there as well. So your front pages here are basically going to be like your element pages and things that we've got on. So again, we've got this one here that's got like the little try images that there's so much that you can do with them there and then your if you have the page going the book going in reverse this is where you're going to get your lovely pattern papers at the back absolutely stunning look at that Ooh. the green foliage with those beautiful different colored poinsettias running through there let's have a flip through to the next one more toppers for you 
Look at that little duck goose thing. Cutie. I can't decide whether it's a duck or a goose, but he's absolutely gorgeous. They've got such a nostalgic feel, haven't they? They really, really have. Um, oh, my absolute favourite. Oh, everyone's favourite. Isn't it's it been cute? A bit over this way. I'd be wanting to make, do you know, like a little board game or something. Oh, like yeah. Can you imagine doing like a little, instead of snakes and ladders, like bears and mouses or something oh, like that. Oh, that would be so cute. It'd take me a while to think about what to do with it, but it would make a really cute board game. And then on the back, you've got this beautiful star papers. And I am. I'm going to take my time and go through this and show you every single page today because it's the last day. It is the last day. Absolutely. Look up. Oh, oh my goodness, sentiments. all those sentiments. Should we count them? Yeah. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And you've got that over four pages. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You are and not I, going to be short of I'll, a sentiment, I'll are you? I love that you've got blue ones, yellow ones, green ones, red ones. There's just one for everything. Yeah. I love that too. Very, very gorgeous. Love this little pinecone paper. Stunning. Ribbon borders. Oh, absolutely. And that gingham background. Yeah, oh, good. my goodness. So let's just have a little look at some of the sentiments on our ribbon borders. We've got season greetings and festive wishes, and then the others are just made up from images from the pad. Absolutely stunning. More cut out elements for you. Now you have to cut these ones out yourself, but totally worth it. Oh, definitely. So if, I mean, you, if you're getting this pad, you're definitely getting what's, what you've, your element sheet from the beginning, because you've spent something yep so once you've run out of them you've got these left to cut out as well more oh. that fireplace the carolyn bunnies the little cute squirrel love that guy down the front with his presents beautiful christmas treat now you'd be cutting those out and popping them all around here wouldn't you oh definitely. absolutely a hundred percent Making those really big 8x8 eight eight cards as well. Again, the camera doesn't do this no, one justice. No, it doesn't at all. It's a beautiful, like, kind of peachy uh, pink with a beautiful, like, lace doily design on it. But unfortunately, it's not picking it up. But it is very, very strong in real life. Now, we're nearly done. Like I said, it feels like there's so much more in here. We've got that beautiful burgundy tartan that I know Rebecca absolutely loves. I do. I'm getting there another fireplace scene but this time with a different background how cute are those little family pictures I know. as well so, <laughs> they're so adorable cute. do you know what you could do as well though you could like fussy cut them out and put like little pictures of your own family oh, behind yeah. them as well, which would be really cute another background scene that would be great if you were making up like your own scene with it and you needed to add some more like wall wallpaper effect in then just a beautiful snowy background so so versatile i think we're nearly done oh a nighttime one as well oh gorgeous i'd be fussy cutting those hills and like decoupage in yeah, them as 100%. well peeping your characters through all the layers as well and then finishing with this beautiful blue damask pattern on the back gorgeous absolutely stunning so i'm hoping very much rebecca that you are doing a demonstration with this one for us certainly am yeah today absolutely uh, are yeah. we are we moving I think on to we're ready, yeah. oh my goodness yeah, sorry i don't know i was ready but then i wasn't okay let's get going i've okay. got a few card makes to show if you would like me to do that no now it's okay i'm ready to get going um i don't know why i wasn't ready then sorry guys okay <laughs> right let's get going so we'll get our element sheet we'll get some card stock and we'll get a piece of paper from the paper pad i've been very minimal with the paper pad just in case you aren't spending that 40 pounds i thought well i'll just bring it in as just like a background and then I'm sure we've demoed it um, at some point during this fortnight anyway. So we're going to be concentrating on the cardstock and our sweet little characters here. Okay, so let's get going. I've got an 8x6 card and I've got some Miri all ready to go. So I'm going to chop into my cardstock and let's have a look where we finish with this. So good morning mm. to everybody on Facebook and YouTube joining us today. Oh, that's so exciting. 
Let me hmm. just keep up with myself. I want to do this side. Oh, that'll be fine. So let's just snip this little weird Christmas tree off at the end. And then we've still got that beautiful scene. We could just make a little stepper with that or something. It'd just be so perfect. Even though it's skinny, that would look great on a stepper card. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, so just, um, sorry, Kat, I know you were saying good morning to everyone. I'm just cutting my cardstock down to just two notches under eight by six. And then what I'm bringing in is I'm bringing in some of our nesting dies. Now these are the duo stitched circle nesting dies. So I'm gonna kind of place these just on here in a sort of, I don't know, like a bubble format. So we're gonna get those run through whilst Kat says good morning to everybody. So who have we got today? We have Pamela, we have Viv on Facebook, um, Sally, Morning Colleen, we have Sulis who says with this gift it's going to be a very happy Christmas. Oh. Um, right, let's have a pop over to YouTube, see what you guys are over there. Oh, so glad we you're joining us. Gillian, good morning Anne, good morning Caroline, morning Susan. It's 2 a.m. wherever Susan Dodd is. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Rather you than me. Thanks for like pulling a bit of an all nighter to join us. I know. <laughs> okay, right, let's get the die cutting machine and get that all sorted. And then, oh my goodness, then the next thing we're going to is those character sheets because they're so adorable. They are very, very cute. Has anyone received their free gifts yet? We'd love to know what you think of them once you've got them in your hand in person. Oh, absolutely. Have you started making with them yet? Yeah. Perhaps you got them at the beginning of last week and you've already started your Christmas cards. Oh, these have popped out gorgeously. Okay. So what we need to do now, I think I'm actually going to cut this a mini bit smaller. So let's go to... Um, let's have a notch off the top and the bottom. So we're going to do this at a quarter of an inch smaller actually, just so that we can get another mat and layer in there. So just going round and chopping another notch off each side. Might actually chop them both off here actually, to be fair. Well, you've got a bit of a thick board. Yeah, now. this side's a little bit thicker. So let's do the two notches on there. So lovely. So that'll give us room for another mat and layer. Um, I'm going to just bring in this beautiful sort of grey kind of snowy background print from the paper pad. Like I say, I kind of wanted to be really, really minimal with this one, just in case you weren't treating yourself to £40 worth of goodies. Um, this can easily be swapped out with like a plain piece of cardstock or something else. Okay, perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go move on to our character sheet. That's going to sit on there and that is going to sit on there. Oh, isn't that gorgeous already? Okay. And then we're going to take, because we've got three little holes and we've got three little bunnies, it's perfect. You can use whichever characters you want, but I love how the bunnies are just, just matching. They're like little bunny triplets or a little bunny family, aren't they? <laughs> um, so we're going to just nice and gently take those out, minding their little ears and this little lantern. Quite nice to pull out anyway. There we go. That's him. And then the last one is this one here with his little carol song sheet how cute okay so let's get these stuck in and we're going to have them like just peeping out through here so we're going to turn the sheet round and i'm going to get some tape on these now i think i'm just going to use normal double-sided um for this project i think that should be enough to hold them in place and then turning it round and checking I'm happy with the position. Again, I could put a little glue dot or something on there if I wanted to. Going in with that next one as well. Oh, I love that, absolutely love that. Um, just bringing that there, just so we've got her ears poking out. And then again, just getting a little bit of tape and just placing it down on there. And then my last one, this one's a little bit tighter, so let's pop him through oh there we go and we've got his cute. ears sticking out oh aren't they cute little peekaboo bunnies perfect for a kid's card or something like that okay and then i think we're going to stick this on with some foam pads 
So let's get some of those. We've got some strips, we've got some large squares. Faye saying that she received my she received hers yesterday and today. Looks impressive on screen, but much more much more so in real life. Oh definitely. Want to start crafting with it, but don't know if I can bring myself to. Oh, That's you've got to the thing. Absolutely no, but it's so hard when it's this cute. It really is hard, isn't it? Um, we know what that's like. But this is why we do things. You've not got one of anything in there. You've got two free element sheets. Yeah. You've got two of each insert, two of each cardstock, and then four pages of each in, in your book. So you can easily put one to one side to keep in its beautiful, pristine condition, and you've got the rest to craft with. Yeah, best of both worlds yeah. then, isn't it? Right, so let's get some little foam pads on these little sweeties. Okay. And then we'll just take those off. Just take the backing off, put that on our card, and then um, we can see what else we want to add. Like I say, I'm trying to keep that paper pad at a minimum, but I, I, I'm really tempted to go with one of those sentiments, you know, they're all one of those 28 times four sentiments. Yeah. Okay. Oh, these are looking so cute. Okay, so we're just gonna place that down on there. Really, really nice and simply. Oh, love them. Absolutely love them. Okay, and then let's get that down on our mirror mat as well. Okay. Well, they, everyone's saying just go for it. What, so how, paper could, how can you not spend £40? I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I just thought, well, not everyone will be, but then knowing hunkydorycrafts.co.uk and all the goodies we've launched like this past fortnight, of course you'll be spending £40. It was just in case. <laughs> um, amazing. So let's line that up on there. Okay, and then let's have a little flick through. Have I got a... Oh, yes, I do. I've got a sentiment sheet ready to go. I kind of want to go for festive cheer... I think this star one that's obviously right in the middle of it. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. So let's go with that. Zena on YouTube. I hope that's how you pronounce, pronounce your name. Uh, I got all my freebies yesterday. I'm so overwhelmed with them. I don't know what where to start yet. Well, this is why we have these fam fabulous demonstrations for you to get your crafty mojo going. Absolutely. And we will be showing you some beautiful card makes after this as well. So get crafting. Yeah, absolutely. Loads and loads to just, you know, get started, get crafting. And, you know, how good is it going to feel when late July and to make a start on your Christmas cards, that Christmas season is going to come round before we know it. Honestly, I went for a walk with my friend yesterday. We always go for a little either midweek walk, either Wednesday or Thursday. And she said, you know, it's only um, something like 20 weeks or something to go yeah. and i said don't don't say that um so you know get started now and you could be finished in no time you know you could be finished by september and just enjoy the autumn and winter oh doesn't that look sweet there oh shall we leave? yeah let's put it that let's put it there um yep yeah, again we're gonna pop that on some foam pads festive cheer so so cute super simple Let's get those on a little double layer as well to just really give it some height. Perfect. And again, you could do a little matte and layer with some Miri if you wanted to. And then what I'm going to do is go in with... Have we got some Christmas pearls? Yes, we do. Christmas pearl gemstones just to finish it off in style. And what I like to do with, with cards like this with sort of circles and apertures on is to just sort of lay them around the side. So I'm going to go in with kind of one big one here. And then two little small ones here. Just to really give it that really nice little bit of polish and to just highlight that circle. So cute doing rain there. I think so. And, you know, you don't have to do all three. Obviously, we're just sort of showing off um, all the goodies that we have at our disposal here at Hunky Dory HQ. But you can just do one. Um, and then finally, we'll just do this one a little bit dinkier because we've got our sentiment up here as well. So we'll just use some of these really cute little baby ones. Lots of love for this card, Rebecca. Aww. Everybody is absolutely loving it and I'm not surprised, it is gorgeous. Thank you. Again, it's just one of those really nice things that you can just 
you know, make such stylish cards like this. You've only got three other things. You could repeat this with your other characters and your other sentiments. Um, let's get this stuck down on a card blank. Ready to go. Again, I'd be finishing this off with a matching insert. I will see if we've got one actually, just whilst we're here. Okay. So I've done my card in a nice tent fold style. Again, you could make this a little bit smaller if you don't want to use an eight by six. It is perfect um, as a seven by five. Let's have a look. I've got some cardstock. I haven't got any, I haven't got any inserts. Um, being it's the last day, can I be really cheeky and pinch one? Of course you can. Why not? Let's finish this card off in style. Amazing. Oh, let's use this one with the nice snowy hills in. Okay. So, um, just going to cut that to two notches under my card blank. Just so that it doesn't um, interfere with the fold of my card it doesn't stick out anywhere oh it's just gone a little bit feathery i think this blade's a little bit old obviously a brand new blade wouldn't do that <clears throat> so we're going to open our card and pop that in oh do you know it's a tent fold of course it is i was trying to open it at the <laughs> side then what I love about this card though, Rebecca, that even though you've used something from all three tiers of our gift system, even if you've just bought something this week for 99p and you get those element sheets, yeah. you can still recreate this with lots of other hunky-dory goodies that we've got. Uh, you can use another piece of cardstock for the back layer um, and your lots of things that we've had Christmas themed over the last couple oh, of weeks definitely. for your front sheet. If you've got your circled eyes, you can recreate it even if you've just got that one top of sheet. Absolutely, yeah, you can. You know, it's a layout that I use time and time again for anything. Once you've just got those three circles on, you're absolutely good to go. You've got that gold mirror in the background, open it up and there's a beautiful insert to finish. That is absolutely stunning. Thank you. So before we move on, let's just do one quick last look through of our beautiful, beautiful card makes with this collection to give you all that fabulous inspiration. Now, isn't this one just absolutely stunning? Just bringing in that snowflake acetate just to give it that depth and dimension. It's so lovely. So, so cute. That was by our wonderful Jane. Here's one with the paper pads where it's all been cut into beautiful layers. There's, again, there's <gasps> acetate on the front there. Wow, what a stunning card. Isn't it gorgeous? Fussy cutting around that Christmas tree and the border and then putting your fireplace at the back and your little topper elements on the front. <gasps> Here's one with these beautiful little animal features. Oh, I love that. Oh, love my, that gold mirror. It is, yeah. It's like a checkerboard, isn't it? It is, and it's been cut and then it's all the... Um, like all the little gaps in between have been scored as well. Absolutely stunning. Another one. Everybody's loving using the acetate with this as well. I'm not surprised. Just made like a little acetate box frame around that little bear topper there. Rebecca's favourite, the little pussy cat hanging in the stocking. Oh, so cute. I love those pine cones as well. I love the look on the uh, reindeer's face as well. He's like, well, you got yourself in there. You can get yourself out. <laughs> Absolutely. So cute. One there. And the mix and matchability on this set as well is absolutely amazing. Oh, definitely. Lots of the background paper has been used there to create this background. And then a topper and a sentiment added. Stunning. We'll just show you the last couple here again. It's amazing how these animals all work together. And we'll make this one our last one because it just deserves this multi-functional twisted easel oh, front easel isn't it great absolutely stunning how gorgeous what an absolutely so much inspiration for you all there amazing mate all made from free gifts incredible now what else have we got for you today oh we've got a bit Ooh, of we've, we've got, got a little bit of bling we've got our bling god so we are starting off we have our 
We'll move on to some of our Diamond Sparkles range, which again is some of our absolutely favourites. Let's start out with our Diamond Sparkles Glitter Gemstone Bundle for you. This includes 432 gemstones in total Amazing. across six. Uh, across six colourways so in this one yeah there's six so you get like a, a silver a gold a christmas red a christmas green a blue and a purple absolutely perfect for your christmas crafting and you're getting six packs of this so one two three four five six absolutely amazing i've never known us do something like this before no, we I do don't a bundle all of like the same the, the same range and i think this is absolutely fabulous um because, like I said, if you were just using those silvers on one card, you could get through them pretty quick. Yeah. If you're doing like starry bark background and stuff, but you don't need to worry because then you've still got all these. <laughs> these for you today, this bundle is $8.99. $8.99 for 432 gemstones. Absolutely incredible. It's meant to be $14.98. What a saving. Wow. Love this. Amazing especially like uh, for kids and stuff like that if you're doing some summer crafting and things oh yeah so much fun next up oh absolutely love these as well again we're getting six of our festive selection christmas gemstone roll bundles yeah so on here let's get a bit out to show you we have one meter so you're getting six meters in total here but that's only if you use them like this. I don't know if we can pick them up, like in a straight strip, but I'd be cutting into them, all the individual colours. So you, you could get four metres out of this oh, one. Oh, yeah, easily, absolutely. And look, so we, again, we've got that red, the green, the blue, and the gold includes, oh, wow, look at this, 7,416 gemstones in total. Um, four colours. It says nine metres in length. How many are we getting? Six rolls. Yeah. Yeah, the boxes definitely do say, say one metre. Say one metre. Anyway, again, eight ninety nine. They're amazing, aren't they? So, and um, I believe, Rebecca, you're going to be doing some fab demonstrations with these later, aren't you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Different colours. We, well, me and you did the show on Monday, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and we had a few requests we for did. showing them in a bit more detail. Yeah, so we'll do that. So that is our gorgeous gemstone bundle. Next up, oh, sparkles, sparkles all the way. We have our beautiful diamond sparkles glitter Christmas collection. So in here, this includes 12 glass jars of diamond sparkles glitters in a selection of festive colors. So let's have a look. We have a berry, which is our red, holly, green, gold leaf and champagne which i absolutely love that you get the two shades of gold there that you get this richer richer one yeah. and then the more softer gold as well and then the next row we've got snowflake absolutely fabulous if you're doing any kind of snow theme shaker cards oh definitely um, we've got a starlight silver we've got a frost blue again great Ooh. for snow scenes and an, um, that beautiful imperial blue. And then down the bottom here, we have little jars of multicolored stars for you. So we've got a multicolored Christmas one here. We have a silver, we have gold stars, and we also have these holographic stars. And I think you can just about make out the difference in these ones at the bottom here. Again, great for your shakers, great for crafting with the kids, Great for just, like I said, get your little bits of um, white glue out, add them around the edges of your card. Like we've seen on this, um, on the winter, the Woodland Story Pack, where you've got that snow scenes, if you've got like a white uh, quickie glue pen, oh, yeah. just put like a little line of glue across the top and then add that little bit of glitter just to give that little bit of extra sparkle will look absolutely stunning yeah maybe like along the christmas trees or like the edges of those hills you could just be like softly like placing your quickie yeah. glue pen on just adding a bit of sparkle just really that make tiny it tiny touch yeah. really looks absolutely so in there we're getting one two three four five twelve jars i don't know why i was counting it says on the screen for seven pound 49 amazing absolutely stunning value incredible 
next. Oh, oh, oh. These are one of my favourite things ever. And I know I say that about everything, <laughs> but everything's my favourite. We have our Shimmer Card Festive Selection. So we start with our Emerald Green, which is Ooh. just perfect. Think about making your holly out of that, your wreath, your buntings absolutely beautiful and this is our diamond sparkles shimmer card so it's non-shared it's all fully encapsulated it's absolutely perfect for die cutting and going through your electronic um cutting machines absolutely incredible so you're getting 10 sheets of each so and you're getting 10 different packs i think what does it say it contains 50 sheets in total features five festive colors 10 of each yeah, so you're getting five colours and you're getting two sheets, yeah, in each. I can't, my maths is not working today. But you're getting all this for 11 99 So we've got our emerald green. We've got our gorgeous sapphire blue. This one's not got a name in, but, <laughs> but it's our red colour. We have got our gold and our silver. And how well do all the colours match up? Oh, they're so great. All them there. Eleven ninety nine for fifty sheets of shimmer cardstock. Just absolutely incredible. Get that in your baskets. And last but not least, to match all them, we have our festive bundle of shimmer roll selection. So these colours match again absolutely perfectly. We have our ruby red. We have our gold, we have our sapphire blue, we have our silver, and we have our emerald green. Ooh. Now these, um, do you think I can open one to show them in a I bit more detail? So. These are self-adhesive shimmer rolls. So, I'm going to be really naughty, make sure there's not one open beforehand. I'm going rogue, they've left me to it too much this week. I know, right? <laughs> we've, we've, we've got up to some real mischief in here this week. Ooh. So let me just show you how much you actually get on here. And remember, you're getting five different ones of these. So we started here, we're going all the way along. You get all this. Oh, we're going and going. Oh we're my going. goodness. And this, let me roll it back up before I make too much mess. It's self-adhesive, so let me show you the back as well, because I think sometimes you get to do this. You've got this wonderful grid pattern on the back, so you can mark out exactly where you want to place things. Yeah. It really helps you when you're lining things up and trying to figure out how, you know, if you want to fit a certain number of objects on. So handy if yeah. you like ad adhering it onto box makes so as well. Yeah. And I'm just gonna get that wrap back rolled up and peel, peel off a little corner for you. And you're going to get all five of these for 11 99 And if you're wanting to make your Christmas stickers or little labels for boxes, have you got a pokey tool? I do, I'm yeah. trying to do it with my go. rubbish nails Here we and go. I'm not getting anywhere. So you can just get it in the corner from the back in. Oh, do you know, I've dug myself a proper little hole here. Just <laughs> absolutely typical. I'm going to start sweating. We're going, we're going. You see. But the colours match the sheets and they, they match do the gemstones and everything. So every if you want to make, oh, look at that. So it just peels off so, so clean, cleanly. It's really sticky. It's, you can hear the tack there. Yeah. But you've still got that little bit of manoeuvrability with it. Yeah. It's not, what's the word? It's not going to destroy no what's no, underneath no. if you need to take it off and reposition you have got that little bit of time they're so so useful um for adding details onto homeware projects a little bit of home decor oh, yeah. making decorations over christmas absolutely stunning they are usually 19.95 for that five rolls in our festive bundle and now you can get them today for 11.99 absolutely incredible are you going to be showing some things off with these today? I certainly am. Mm. So, shall we run through a couple of like techniques first of all? Let's get that sorted. 
Um, okay, so I've got a mixture of our gemstone rolls. Obviously, it's our Christmas ones that are on offer. So I've brought both of them in, and then I've just brought some glamorous green one that I just had in my had in my drawer, just to show off some techniques. Um, Kat, could I? Yes. Be, would you be an absolute darling and pass me my poke tool back? Of course, I can. Thank you. There we we don't want that going missing. No. Heck, I'll be having a meltdown. Okay loads of different things you can be doing with this so let's just demo a just a few techniques first of all so for example you can do like Kat said you can do so many different things with this right how big is this card blank five by five okay so let's go in at like I say just going to take some of our say our duo design paper that we launched last week just going to cut that quarter of an inch around there going to stick that onto there or we could have it this side actually that's pretty um okay let's go in with some construction glue i think i need i think i need a new bottle of this this week Kat, honestly <laughs> um i'll see if i've got some tape handy perfect right oh we're there we're there just to kind of quickly show off some techniques so I'm just going to use my construction glue for a little bit of speed. And then we are going to do a, a finished project start to finish, but just so that you get a really nice idea of all the different things you can do with it. Let's lay that down and then let's just use our green ones just because they're here. Um, like I say, our Christmas ones um, are perfect. So a couple of different things. Now you can just start, they're on it's almost like our finger lift tape in that regard, is you get this little bit round the side just to place your fingers or to just lift it up really, really nice and easily. And then you just see it just coming away just from the back in there. So what you can do is you can sort of layer it on in um, kind of stripes just like this. And then what you can do as well, like Kat said, you can just cut them off like, um, I've gone a little bit, there we go. You can just cut them off where they stop. And then what you can do is you can sort of line them up and start again. Oh, just got a little rogue one there. <laughs> just been at the mercy of the scissors. And again, you can just sort of layer it on there, go all the way around, and then you'll have a finished project, okay. So let's move on and let's sort of try another technique with these fabulous gemstones. And again, if you want your frame a little bit thinner, what you can do is, let me just cut this bit of backing off, pop that in the bin, is like Kat said, you can start snipping. Say you just want this dark green one. You can just start snipping up there with your, just with your scissors. You don't need anything fancier than that. And how good would these Christmas ones look as sort of strings of lights? Oh. Um, strings of fairy lights, for example, just twinkling away. Um, again, so if you wanted a thinner border, again, you would just remove that and then just just sort of carry on just around there, really. Um, so that would just come away like that and stick down like that. So you don't have to, to be really extravagant and use all four rows. Um, what else can we do? Let's get another little a little card blank wonder if we can do this so let's cut um let's sort of cut three inches kind of roughly on here which is here and then let's get another one the same sort of size and then just in the center of our card we're just going to start placing these down Oops. Possibly gone a little bit too high, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, Rachel Brown on YouTube has got my comment of the day so far. Oh yeah? I ordered the deco large the other day and then somehow forgot and mani managed to forget and ordered it again yesterday. Oops. Oh well, well are you gonna keep it or Yeah. Well I would. I would. Yeah. I think you've already I, I paid think for it. I that's the universe sending you a sign that you, this is something that you need twice. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. So I'm just going to start lining those up. Let's do a couple more rows just whilst we're here. And again, what you can start doing now, now that we've got our kind of length, is we can just, it's getting stuck. 
is we can just come out here and go this way around and sort of make a little square. I'm going to tidy this up a little bit. So it could just be the like, sort of stripes that you want to do. I've got some card samples to show you guys as well. And then we can get onto our sort of main demo, but just to show off a few techniques. So for example, if you repeated that pattern, I'm going to bring in one of your cards, Kat. Ooh. You could literally put um, like a bit of ribbon there. What color is it? Pink. We've definitely got some pink ribbon in here. Um, here we go. You could literally put a little bit of pink ribbon on here and it would be a little parcel. Oh. I mean, how cute would that be? Um, so yeah, let me show you some other makes we've got. So again, we've got another one of our frames with the little book and those beautiful colored Miri mats. Um, I think you've got some more as well to show us at the end of the show. So. I have. Um, super exciting. So let's move on to our main demo. I was also wondering if, because um, I picked the wrong colour to use, I was wondering if I could have some sapphire blue. Sapphire blue? Um, diamond sparkle shimmer card. Do, do, do. If I've hid everything, trying to be tidy. So if you could give me a minute to find it. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. So what we're going to do first is we've got some blue sapphire cardstock and we're just going to place our star just on here. Let me take this tape off and get some fresh one just because I want it to be, because we're doing an aperture, I want it to be really nice and neat when, when it goes through the die cutting machine. So I'll put some fresh tape on. One enough? Yeah, one's plenty. There you go. Um, it's just for a little matte and layer. I didn't realize we didn't have the purple on, so I planned my card doing purple, and then when you showed all the colors, I was like, oh my goodness. Definitely don't want to demo with a color that you're not going to get in the pack. And that sapphire blue is gorgeous anyway. It's one of my favorites. So just popping this tape down, and then again, we'll get that run through the die cutting machine. And then I'll show you a really fun technique. I feel like we've shown it before, but we'll just give it that little bit of a Christmas, Christmas joie de vivre. Let's get that in. Oh, Gemini. Just while you're running that through, Karen has said, I always keep repeat orders and just do more crafting. Although I gave some repeats from the mystery box to a friend and I have now awakened a crafting demon. <laughs> Ooh, I love Such converting my crafty friends. Yeah. Do you know what? So many of my friends think, oh, do you know, I'm not a crafter. And actually once they start, you don't have to start with your big expert, you know, crazy um, cards. You just start with some just simple, sort of makes and you can convert anyone I think and then you've got a crafty friend for life okay so we're going to lay that on top of there and what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a pencil she says here it is and we're just going to draw around this star so we've got a template because we want to kind of try and be frugal with our gemstones so we're just going to draw around that and then what we're going to do is we're going to place gemstones in here and it's going to look beautiful Okay, so we know exactly where we want to lay our gemstones. So we're going to go in with our Christmas ones this time, and we're going to go in with our Christmas pearls. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start layering these up all the way down the star. And it depends on how like sort of comfortable you are with, um, you know, how how many you want to do and how you know sort of how much room you want to leave. Um, so for example, I'm just going to go like that. I'd cut myself off quite a lot, and I'm going to just trim that off. So we're not using too many. And I can probably do another little row there all the way down. So we're just going to match those up perfectly. With a shape like this as well, if you would, like we said before, if you cut them into the individual colour strips, you could take that and work it around the outside of the star yeah. and work them all inwards. That would work really well too. Absolutely. It, there's so many different kind of like possibilities for this. Um, it's definitely one that you could just be doing, you know, any any sort of different way. There's so many um, different kind of ways you can use this. Um, so hopefully we've shown a couple of techniques um, just to basically lay them out. Gosh, that was nearly then. 
Um, okay, so just gonna check that nothing's kind of missing. And again, if you want to, you can just pop your star on there and just check that we've got all that covered, which we have. And because we've got plenty, we know that we're gonna be able to sort of finish this project off in absolute style. So we've got plenty, plenty to go with. So it looks a bit weird now. It looks a little bit of a hot mess, <laughs> not gonna lie, but we're gonna absolutely polish it off and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So we're just gonna pop that on there and just keep going until we're at the bottom of that star. Um, okay, so this one gets a little bit skinnier now so we can start being a bit more frugal again. I quite like that look though at the same time. It's like abstract star. Yeah, it is a little <laughs> bit, isn't it? And you could do this with any design. Like how good would it look with those greens as a Christmas tree? Um, or if you wanted to use some golds with this star and make it a bit more of a sort of celebratory, um, you know, happy new year card or something like that. I feel like I've done this one a teensy bit short, but we can always, um, we can always go back in. No, I think that'll be just about okay. This will be a great technique as well for using with some of our uh, iris folding dies. I did, do you know, in a different way. I nearly did use those actually. I thought of our iris folding star immediately and I thought, no, I've got my, I've got my nesting ones. See, that's a little bit too short. So we'll, we'll do another little, a little row there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pop that there. Oh, but you could, if you took the greens as well, you could well um, build up your own like Christmas tree as well, couldn't you? Yeah, that's you what can I cut them off at an angle. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, definitely. So many ideas. Um, if you're not placing these in your basket, why not? Because they're so much fun to play with. Um, and like you say, getting the kids involved. Okay, so let's just do. I think we might just need to just do a couple more here. They're just so versatile. From just those little embellishments on your cards right up to the main element, you can you use them across the board. Oh yeah, for absolutely, definitely. You really, really could. Um, you know, obviously these are just such a bargain as well. And you're gonna get those free gifts as well. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I think I just wanna just cut a couple of those purple ones just to finish it off. love these as well they're just such a nice rich Christmassy purple so going in super super small we're getting really teeny tiny but that's the great thing about this if you just need two simple little pearls just to just to go at the edge of something you know you don't have to be wasting a lot or like using some of your you know your big packs you can just use just some of these and you're good to go they are a little bit fiddly though when they're this small. <laughs> and then we'll put our um, sort of layer on top, our aperture layer, and then hopefully that's gonna look really nice. Okay. Ooh, ooh, yes. What do we think? It just comes to life, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I absolutely love that. Right, so let's get some foam pads on because these are a little bit bumpy, these gemstones. So we do need our layer to stick up nice and firmly so i'm going to go straight on to here just around the corners and then maybe some of our just a little skinny strip up that side might have one here actually i think that should be enough perfect okay so let's peel the backing off those and get our um blue sapphire adorable scoreable on So just mind my head, just whilst I line this up, if we don't line it up properly, you are gonna see sort of white gaps and we really don't want that. There we go, perfect. Okay, and then the final piece of our card is to just pop on a little bit of our blue sapphire cardstock. And let's cut that to six by six. Oh, in fact, let's have a look. Yeah, that's just two notches under, isn't it? So yeah, let's do that. I cannot wait to see the finished result here. I love these kind of cards, they're absolutely stunning. 
Yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? Absolutely perfect for um, just simple card making, isn't it? Yeah. So let me just um, take some double-sided tape and we'll just get this onto our mat and layer. And then I think all it needs after that is a sentiment. Um, so we're just gonna get some double-sided tape, stick that down on there. And I think we just need Oh, it's quite skinny, this tape. We'll just put some more on just because it's going on to Diamond Sparkles. Now, at home, I would absolutely be gutting this out so you can really make the most of it. I have a question for you, Rebecca. For me? Yes. Oh, really? What is it? Uh, Lynn is asking, just bought the Gemini. What sheets has Rebecca used, Oh, my please? goodness. I am not the sandwich expert. <laughs> um, we've got the, um, the sort of two base plates well the first base plate then the magnetic -y metal one then the sort of magnetic grid one and that's it and then the the bottom plate there <laughs> so that's kind of that's my sandwich yeah it all depends on what cardstock you are using so it'll probably change up every time the best thing to do is when you get it unbox it take i would get a sample piece of your favorite dies and your favorite card stocks and make yourself like a little note of what oh, goes yeah. through best and stuff so you've got it to hand on your crafting desk and you know right okay today i'm cutting with the, the shimmer card this is the sandwich that i want or yeah you know today i'm using adorable scorable this one works better if i take this sheet out uh, and just have a play around yeah absolutely if in doubt just put all the sheets in though honestly yeah. that's definitely what i do especially because like adorable scorable it's 350 gsm so, yeah so you you know that you're going to be wanting to get that really good cut the first time through it is quite thick so it does obviously need just that little bit more um so and yeah, if it I doesn't like it it'll just bring it back out to you again so it won't go through it's not going to do any damage to the die no so just try so this is this is kind of the sandwich that i've got going on here um, and i'm just going to put it on that magnetic sheet as well um so i'm going to run that through again so just bring that in oh gosh needed a good push there for that <laughs> through and then hopefully that's die cut it really nice it is an electronic machine so i'm hoping oh yes it has yes it Yay. has perfect okay so just gently peeling that off it seems to be anyway just needs a little bit of a helping hand to get off that just because of the coating you just need to just pull it apart from the um from the main piece there's a message here it says pass it on to dan to look into some pearl adhesive gems well we do have pearl adhesive gems yeah we do yeah we use them all the time yeah. Range. yeah go on the website and check them out i'm sure somebody monitoring the comments will pop you a link on the um, one we used in the bunny card has the christmas pearls yeah um from our first demonstration right let me just get these little weeds out oh how cute is this joy so we're just going to pop that just on the edge of our star um, these are in our trolley dash, but I don't know how well the stock is. I would be surprised if there's many of them left. So let me just get a um, little spare piece of cardstock or a little bit of paper, and then I can glue this down. Oh, do you know, it's time I treated myself to a new purple glue stick. <laughs> Have we got one in here that's got a bit more juice than mine? <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. So just dabbing this on. And then I just don't want that little bit there. <laughs> this is so cute. It is cute, isn't it? So we're just going to place that there, Joy. Give it a really good press because it does need a little bit of hold time, that purple glue stick. Oops. Okay, and then that's our card finished. So let's get it on a card base and then show it off for everybody to see. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. I keep forgetting to look oh, at the comments because so I'm staring at the pictures on the screen. It? Okay, yeah, just needs a card base. I thought, I'd, I thought it felt a bit thick then, but I think it's just the weight of those gemstones. So I've got my six by six all ready to go. 
and then I'm just going to peel off that tape and then oh, I can't wait to show this one off. I'm such a bling queen. Um, absolutely love it, love it, love it. I'm hoping my sentiment hasn't oh, it hasn't moved, it's behaved. And then again, let's go in with the tent fold. Just really, really nice. Pop that on there. And then let's show it off. Yeah, definitely. How nice is that? And again, you could use that with any of our festive sparkles there. You've got that glitter card just on the background and on that sentiment as well. Perfect. Amazing. So shall we show you a few more? Now these aren't particularly Christmas, but it just gives you a couple more of ideas of what you can do with your gemstones rolls. So this is just using it as a tiny little embellishment just so because if you were to place them on one by one you would be there forever so that's just cutting down a single strip and placing it across the top of the bottom how classy does that color scheme look as well and then this one it's been used as much more of a feature look at that stunning oh i love this next one. Ooh. And this is combining the shimmer card. This is another colour that we've got that's not in our festive bundle, um, but I'm sure it's out there on the website. I think it's the lavender. Gorgeous. And then with our silver roll on top, and this comes with silver and gold, and I've just cut down the silver and just like put this um, crisscross pattern. Did all you make this one, Kat? I did. Oh, yeah. it's fabulous. Super shiny. Oh, and look at this one don't know if it, it's a bit it's so clean and simple I don't think the the, the camera's actually picking <laughs> it up but I can promise you in real life it is absolutely stunning oh that put it down good. there you can see it a bit more um so it, I think it's using one of the duotone paper pads to do the little hearts and then it's using the pearl um rolls cut into strips as the little ribbons that they're hanging on absolutely stunning Oh, and this is another one of my go-to ones with the gemstone rolls. I've done this a couple of times, using them to make little candles. Absolutely. Well, it's the same as like any sort of strip or square, rectangular yeah. or square shape. You know, you can be making your parcels, your candles, yeah. your sort of strings of pearls. They're so handy for things like that. So lots of fun ideas that you can do with them there. Right, let's get on to what we're showing in the last part of our show. Oh yeah, so exciting. So. Oh, we have first up our glorious festive foiled cardstock. This contains 24 sheets of cardstock featuring eight different designs in three different colorways. Now these are going to be those beautiful festive colors and either foiled with gold or silver. So this is the purple. Oh, I love foiled that. With the gold. And then we've got it on the black with the silver, I love this swirly snowfall print. And then blue with the silver. So glamorous. And then things like this are incredible because they are great for Christmas, but also you can take these till after Christmas. Oh, it's easily. Something like this pattern here, which is just those like dots and dashes. Oh. Oh. We are still here, guys. We are. We've not gone. Oh, there, there we go. We Here go. we go. So you've got these beautiful like dots and dashes, diagonal stripes. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got that in the blue. Oh no. Oh Gemma, what's going on? Technical issues. Oh, there we go. We're back, we're back, we're back. We're back. People see us, definitely. Just let us know. Can yeah. you see us? And then we've got it on the pale blue. And on the black with the silver, so much festive crafting. Now this one is definitely Christmas. Oh yeah, isn't the it? Beautiful, beautiful, large, almost floral snowflakes. A snowflake for all occasion in that one there. Oh Absolutely yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Should I come to the front while that camera's not working? There we go. Oh, I love it. That and then the blue and the silver. That blue is just so nice. Just it a really nice royal blue, isn't gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. The white and the silver, absolutely classic. If you are into your clean and simple Christmas card makes, a little bit of this on a white card and a sentiment, done. Good to go. You get so much out of that sheet there. And then I love this design. 
the Christmas trees building from big at the bottom to small at the top with this lovely hill pattern in. So again, and a great one for fussy cutting into and um, building up the layers, building up lots of scenes. Oh yeah, definitely. Seven ninety nine for all this. Look I how know. much you're getting. And look how much foil is on it, Kat, as well. This, yeah. This, it's not just a tiny little bit of foil in this corner or that corner or down one side. It's edge to edge foiling all over your sheet. Uh, again, in the white. Oh, look at those Ooh, ponsettias. Beautiful red ponsettias. Love it. Abs oh, that look at that. Stunning gold foiling. And onto the green. Oh, right. We've had the camera oh. switch. We're oh. back over here. Oh. We've got the beautiful green gorgeous ivory absolutely and I did, um, can I just pinch this one I've seen it behind you I turned this one on its head a little bit and I, I coloured it in so Ooh. your alcohol markers will take on top of your coated adorable scoreable if you just give them a little bit of time to dry you can colour them in Sorry, just thought I'd show you something else that you could do with it. Why while I not? It was there. Absolutely, why not? These, again, I absolutely love a script. And these, on, printed on foil on top of the adorable cardstock. Just stunning. That beautiful green, screaming Christmas trees to me. Oh, I love that. Oh, that chocolate box purple. I made the holly. So we're just going all those things that just scream Christmas at you in another fabulous design from Hunky Del Ori. Onto the white, and this one's on the silver. I love that. Absolutely so again, you that. can start colouring in the background of this just to do think this. The, oh. These Christmas <laughs> puddings. Fun. How absolutely adorable are these? Yeah, absolutely. I was lucky enough to play with this when it first launched and there was like a cream Christmas pudding print and I was like, that's the one. Yeah, it's hiding that's at the, the back there. Save, save it till last. So there it is on the purple. And there we go at the back. And I love across this collection here that with the designs, we've got something quite traditional. We've got something quite contemporary. We've got something quite cute. There's everything in there for you. Seven ninety nine for 24 sheets. That's you know, it's got a good clunk on that table. It's amazing, isn't it? Next up, we have our snowflake embellishments. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm back over here. Trying to remember. I'm surprised <laughs> all my mess that I've put in front of this camera isn't showing. <laughs> so this includes 276 snowflakes in total over 12 sheets in a variety of designs and colours. So we've got them here, printed on like this kind of icy blue background. Lovely. Just how many's on there? God, I, I, I'm not even going to count, but you know in total you're getting 276. So that's the icy blue. We've got it in this beautiful kind of ombre from like sky blue up to a baby pink. And then we've got it again on this kind of gorgeous purple. And these are like pr printed on a matte plastic, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, yeah. So again, so you could be inking onto these and adding even more colour onto them, making your wreaths and your decorations, just adding them to presents and stuff. Oh, just, definitely. Yeah, just your little embellishments on a card, or again, they could be the main feature on your card. There's so many great things you could do with them. 12 sheets. Four ninety nine. I know. A fiver for two hundred and seventy six elements of four ninety nine. Absolutely incredible. Oh, you ready for this bad boy? We have our hundred sheet festive adorable scorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at it. Ugh. Can't even lift it up. That's a wodge. Just look how much you are getting there. A hundred sheets. Incredible. And that's not at all because I've taken one of each colour out. So you're actually getting a bit more. Ooh. So in here, you are getting 10 festive colours, 10 of each. Oh, love you're it. You're not going to run out. I love it when you get a good chunky amount of each. So let's have a quick one through the colours. 
again, I need to start having a cheat sheet with the colours on. And these are brand new colours, aren't they? They are, yes. yes. So we've got this lovely pale blue. Oh, I should know the name. It's holly green. It's holly green. I'm looking at uh, Rebecca Longingly. Clotted to cream. Mm. Yummy. Uh, Snow White. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that one. Yeah. And we all need a white to get ten sheets of white. Your basics in there. Oh, your white definitely. and your black. Seventeen ninety nine. Hundred sheets. Usually thirty pounds. Twenty nine ninety nine. Beautiful. This sapphire blue. This is uh, lavender. I want to say it's wisteria. Wisteria. Yeah. Mm, really soft, purpley colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, earthy. Earthy. Or it might be gingerbread, actually. Yeah, it looks a bit pale for earthy. It's gingerbread. Yeah. But this is going to be perfect for um, if you're doing anything with chocolate tones oh, yes. or Christmas puddings or things like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Reindeers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Reindeer noses. Yeah, Rudolph's nose, beautiful colour. What a great selection of colours. Oh, we're going a bit blurry. There we go. Beautiful purple. Just see, you know, the fact that our camera's losing focus on this one. We have used our backup one, guys, yeah. that's why. Um, but it just shows how reflective and how shiny and glossy yeah. adorable scoreable is, you know. That's your black and that was just a blue again and the thing is. So I'm just going one more time, I'm going in and I'm showing you that big wadge that you're getting here. Isn't it gorgeous? For 1799. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. incredible value there. Okay, let's move on to some little dice. Yeah. Well not so little. We have for you our iris folding die. This is the star. Now, is this one you were thinking about using before, Rebecca? Yeah, it was. I did nearly use that one. And I thought, well, I've demoed it already. And so, you can use either your nesting ones or your... Um, that one has some little star bursts as well. So you could do your gems coming off it as well. Yeah, you could. So our iris... Uh, folding dies are dies that are designed to cut into your cardstock so you can put things behind them. So traditionally it would be your iris folding. I don't know if I show you up there, you can have a clearer look of a card made with it on the front of the packaging there. But also great for anything else. Um, these would, for in Christmas terms, like you said, you could put your gemstones behind them. They're great for making shakers with. They're so, so versatile. This one here, $5.99. Bargain! $5.99 so so useful next up let's have a little recap of um some of our trolley dash oh no before we go into that i'm just going to show this one again because it's everybody's favorite we absolutely love it it's our interlace christmas jumper oh dye. cute 14.99 so again you are going you're getting two dies here so you're getting your outer jumper die and then you're getting kind of like, it's almost like a mechanism die in the middle, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah. going to do all the hard work for you. That's going to cut out all these little triangles so you can fold them back to make this beautiful jumper pattern on the front. So it's it's two in one because you can use that jumper just on its own, but mix and match it with the in, inner die to make all these fabulous, fabulous Christmas jumper style dies, cards even. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, love it, love it, love it. So many uses for that one. You had such fun demo in that one as well, didn't I you? I did. I've absolutely loved that die. Now, let's get back to where I was before. We'll have a little extra look at some of our trolley deals from the other day. So we have got. Ooh, we have our Snippables Christmas stocking here. Now this was designed to go with the Snippables paper pad um, and you layer it on top and you cut out all the ones and you cut away the layers. Yeah. Um, but for just a Christmas die on its own, it can still be used without anything else. Just yeah. look at the detail in you, there. You can... Um, cutting out and colouring in just yeah. as die on its own, just as one layer. There is so much detail on there. Look at this one coloured in on the front. So that's the kind of look that you could achieve with it. It has got all the snippable patterns inside the packet, so you could cut it lots of time and colour in all the layers yourself as well. So, so multi uh, 
functional. And you've got this lovely big chunky sentiment on the back as well. Oh, of course. that. And if you didn't want to colour, you could do a bit of paper piecing, you, you could, could cut it out yeah. of your mirror. Yes. You know, so many different, you know, ways. Definitely. Yeah. It says, hope your stocking is full of surprises. Cute. I've, ju I've just seen the price. Three ninety nine. I know. I know. Three ninety nine. Look, look at that big solid die there. Three ninety nine. And, and your the sentiment. sentiment. Yeah. Should be ten pounds. And last but not least, we're gonna go and show you our textured dies as well. Now you used one of these on the show the other day, didn't you? Yeah, and the again, holly. Something just that little bit different. These don't cut anything out of your card, but they cut into your card this beautiful texture um that can just be a real kind of subtle edge to your card yeah. or you can go in and ink it up and really really bring out the patterns this is the snowflake sparkle seven pound 49 for a background eye that you're for just gonna have eye. for years to come yeah and look at the, go on, look at the size of that i know absolutely incredible you can tile it as well for bigger cards yes yeah. we're nearly ready to go back over to Rebecca but before I do should we just have a quick oh, win it recap weekly. of Win It Weekly yeah. so three Christmas little books we are giving away to four of you wonderful watchers this week what is the current record for the longest Yule log ever made is it A 1344.21 meters B 2,472.81 metres or C, 1,136.36 metres. I don't know whether that question's getting bigger on the screen or I'm just <laughs> getting more used to reading it, but it's certainly getting <laughs> easier. <laughs> so like, comment and share for your chance to win these. The winner will be announced tomorrow. Fabulous. Right, it's over to you for our last demonstration, it Rebecca. It certainly is. I was wondering, like I say, you've been my absolute, um, I'm so sorry, my PA today. Um, <laughs> but can I have some of the foiled cardstock, please, with the beautiful patterns on? You can. Thank you. Um, oh, she says we're not going to Just about set. to send the, uh, the iPad flying. Oh my goodness. Right, so let's pick out some patterns on here that we love the look of. I mean, I love the look of all of them, really. Let's be honest. Um, we've got some trees. I'm just going through and picking up the sort of ones with the silver foiling. Oh my goodness. Um, wow, decisions, decisions. Oh, I think we like the look of that red. Okay, yeah, right. Decisions made. Hang on. Let me put that down there. Okay, so, right, then let's narrow it down to sort of the three sheets that we want to use. So, we'll go for this one, this one, and then what else have we got here? Should we use these trees, mate? Mm. Okay, right, it's fine. <laughs> oh, got to honestly show some kind of restraint. Right, so what we need to do here is we need to cut three sheets of this out um but don't worry because um you know you can make this three times or you can do it in different ways um but yeah just don't worry honestly it's great so cut three pieces to five by seven oops so that's our first sheet Sharon Major has posted Husband says we will need to shore up the spare bedroom floor as he doesn't think it will stand the weight. Oh, <laughs> my of goodness. all the crafty stock. Luckily, he doesn't go into the wardrobes in the other bedroom because <laughs> they are full of all the Christmas crap stuff too. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. Yeah, all my Christmas craft stuff goes in the attic when I'm doing everyday crafting. It just has to stay out of the way. It's just one of those, isn't it? You can't, I can't mix my Christ Christmas with my everyday all my dyes get sorted all my pattern papers get sorted um right so we've got a piece of the black and um, this is stamping card actually you could use adorable scorable which i think we actually might do and i'll i'll definitely be using some black stamping card in another project so let's go with black and white we're making this kind of monochromatic we've got a little pop of red in there um okay so we're going to cut that to five by seven and go to the edge of the edge of the card blank the edge of the edge <laughs> We know what you mean. I know, I'm getting silly now, Kat. Okay. 
And then what we want to do is we just want to sort of cut up these pieces. So let's go hmm, three and three quarters. And then four and three quarters down. Oh, this, this actually doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can decide your own measurements on how to do this actually. Right, perfect. So that's one bit. And then let's go in with the same. So we want it the same width, so three and three quarters. And then I think we want that two and a half. Is that the rest of it? That makes five by seven, doesn't it? That makes seven inches, doesn't it? I'm glad I'm not the only one that does this. Talking out loud to myself, all my measurements and stuff. Stop it. <laughs> I feel like that's too big. Won't be a sec. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, right. Never mind. It's fine. And then this one needs to be a... So how much have we got left now? Let's work this. Oh, yeah, that needs to be seven long. It's because I'm working the wrong way around. I'm getting dead nervous now. Take a deep breath. All is good. So that's quarter. One and a quarter. One and a quarter. I can't do... I just can't do maths on here. It just my brain goes to mush. One and a quarter. And then let's cut that down to hmm, hmm, I can't decide, can't decide. Everybody uh, Got some scraps start here. sending your positive vibes out to Rebecca just to get her back in. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it to five. Let's do it to five. And then that's nice and round then. Perfect, right. I do know what I'm doing. I promise. We trust you. Right, so we've got that piece. So again, that is, right, so quarter of an inch, two and a quarter it should be. So is it two and a half now? Right, yeah, it needs to be two and a quarter. What else I can do as well is I can post this on my Facebook page and um, get that, get, get those measurements in exactly for you. Okay, perfect. And then we want one last little piece which we've got on our scraps. And then that needs to be, again, if we're going up to seven, oh, that needs to be two, two inches. Perfect. This is where the cutting mat and your trimmer just comes in handy because you've got all the markings along there. So if you stuck, you're like, right, that's five and it needs to be seven, so that's fine. Okay, and we're gonna stack those in a little bit of a fashion kind of like that. So obviously those are exactly five by seven so we don't want to layer it up and not see any of that black so what we're going to do is we're going to score a uh, trim sorry a notch off each side so just lining that up there so that's that one done so then that'll leave us a really beautiful edge of that black and it's going to look I love black and white for Christmas cards, you know, I think it's so classy. It really is, and that pop of red is just absolutely stunning on there. Yeah, it just brings the sort of festive feel back in, doesn't it? Okay, so that's two done, halfway there, guys. Oh, I've got a little lock of, lock of hair stuck to me. That's an occupational hazard. <laughs> okay, perfect, there we go. And then another one on here. So just one notch on each one because we've already cut the left hand side one notch off so we know that that's going to layer up really nicely and then finally our last little piece here i'm probably going to use construction glue for this if it behaves it is it has been tilted upside down so it should be that'll just give you a chance to get them all in exactly the right absolutely. place absolutely yeah. and if i need a bit of wiggle room we we do have it so Oh yeah, I do really like that. Do we think the two pieces of the red? I think we do, because they're at opposite corners. So nothing's touching like the same color. Right, let's get that glued into place. And then we're bringing in one of our trolley dash bargains as well. Ooh, I know. One that big? It's not one that you've shown actually. <gasps> Ooh, it's so exciting. Oh, that's even more fun. It's an absolute bargain as well. And there's still a few left, so um, you can, you've got time to get it in your baskets. So just laying that on there, and then it'll nicely have time to dry whilst we finish the rest of our make. Okay. 
The um, talking of trolley dash bargains, I've seen a few people admiring the stocking die. That is one that is extremely low stock as well, so you need to get it in your baskets if you're wanting to get it today at three ninety nine. Absolutely, it's there's really not many left. Um, okay, right, and then this lovely black strip here. Again, you could bring in some lovely black ribbon or. Um, any other bits and pieces that you've got in your stash but really just making the most of this foiled cardstock showing off all those beautiful patterns you know not matting and layering them just really letting them be the star of the show which they they obviously are right okay black on black I just need to check where I'm at with my lining <laughs> up perfect last little bit on there this red one again And remember, if you do get that die today at three ninety nine, if that's all you spend, you're getting your first free gift as well. Oh yeah, your element sheet. You're oh, getting your element oh sheets. my goodness, yeah, of course. Right, and then the die we're going in with. Let's just bring it in now. I'm so excited. Um, there's Snow Place like home. We did show it yesterday, didn't <gasps> Ooh, we? Yeah. Um, so let's bring that in because there is still a few of these remaining. And I just thought it was perfect. We've got all that flurry of snowfall there. Um, and everything to just really bring that sort of sentiment to life. It's just so appropriate. So we get two dies here. We get a shadow die and then like the actual words. So we're gonna cut that out of silver mirror and black adorable scoreable. So let me just get a piece of silver mirror. This is absolutely stunning. I know, and do you know what? It's really, I know I've made it look, you know, if there's a difficult way to do things, I know it. Um, but it's not a difficult card to do, you know, you don't need to be like an absolute expert card Do you know what maker. you could do to make it a little bit simpler? If you just cut your mat and layer size from each selection of card and then cut your panels from each section and then you're going to have enough to make four cards with it. Yeah. Each, pad, each card's going to be slightly different colourway because you're using it on different ones. Oh yeah, definitely. But that might be a little bit easier way of well, doing absolutely. it. Well, absolutely. Like you can... Days, and then you've got four cards worth. Yeah. like you three can, cards worth because you've got three colours, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Like you can start stacking all these up again. Yeah. You know, maybe layering not these onto like a sort of seven by seven and having it a little bit less tight, for example. Like definitely use them again. Um, A hundred percent. It's you know, I love to use cardstock in that way. So let's get this in. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to stick our other die on and we'll get them both cut at the same time. So that's our silver one all ready to go. And then we've got our black one with the letters as well. Let's see what's going on on Facebook. Ooh, people saying they've just voted for us in the Hunky Dory Awards. Oh, yay! Uh, voted for Hunky Dory in the awards. I don't know what awards they are, oh, but thank you very I think much. The Crafts Beautiful magazine, I want to oh, say. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Right, so we're going to get that cut out. I can't wait to see the end of this. It's looking absolutely stunning. Such a great card. That, that came out really wrong then. I can't wait to see the end of this as if I, like, I can't wait till you be finished. I don't mean that at all. I know I mean, what you meant. I want to, to I really see the want end to result. See the finished product. Absolutely. Before anybody jumps on me and say I'm being rude. I didn't mean it like that. Don't be silly, Kat. I knew you didn't mean it like that. It's just, it, like you say, it's so satisfying to see the project sort of come together. Oh, that's cut out so nicely. Um, okay, let's just weed this die a little bit. We are um, the queen of overthinkers on our team, aren't we? We always say that. Oh, we do, we do. <laughs> um, we really, really are. Okay, so let's just get these little bits out in between the letters. Just going in with my pokey tool and my die brush. I meant to try your technique and leave it in the die, but I just... You know, old habits die hard and everything. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, that's just going to... If if I'm not doing it by the end of the year, it's going to have to be my New Year's resolution to do that because weeding out dies is such a pain. Ooh, whoever's man in the comments has just put, you can vote here. It is Crafts Beautiful. So follow the link and give us a vote, guys. I thought it was. I mean, we're not one for begging for votes, but do it. <laughs> do it because <laughs> do it. we just... 
we just love to get good recognition off you guys. It makes yeah. us feel so, see, oh my goodness. That on its own would look great there, wouldn't it? But we'll just bring it in onto our little background piece. Oh, and I love that there's little dots in there for snowfall. Right, let's get that glued on. So what we're gonna do is, um, again, I'm just gonna put some glue on my mat, just a little bit, because I can't stand putting it on my hand. And then I was gonna see if you, your, one of your sponges was here, but I think what I might do is I might just tap it on just really gently. We have got a couple of people asking again what free gifts we've got with the um, orders. So with it being the very, very last day today, I will run through them very quickly again at the end of the show before we say goodbye, because we don't want any of you to miss out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then just getting that last little bit on my hand, which I'm going to wipe off in a second. So hopefully that should be enough to stick down on our mirror. And we're going to give that a really good press. And then we're going to stick it onto, oh, flipping it, not giving it enough time. <laughs> Do you know, it doesn't want to stick. I think it's just this mirror. We can try again with a bit more glue. We could have even used our glue stick on this. Or... To be fair, some of these letters are so chunky, I think it would have done with them um, construction glue as well. But I think it's okay now. There we go. Yeah, we'll get it on some foam pads and get it on our card blank. Can't believe this is our last card of the show. Okay. Can I just give a shout out to our Rebecca as well? Because she is not just stood here doing this for you as you're all seeing right now she's also got another camera pointing at her today because she's in the middle of a photo shoot at the same time oh i know so let's just give this her a little bit of props that she's under a little bit of extra pressure i think this is why um i couldn't measure before i was like oh my goodness i've got to like smile and like look really nice and i'm there my, the cogs in my brain are turning um yeah i wasn't going to mention that but thank you very much that's really kind cat i just give her a Give her a little bit of a shout out that she's under double the pressure, pressure than usual. I know, can you imagine? Um, right, lovely, last bit of tape. And then get that stuck onto our card. Oh, there's snow place like home, how cute. And then let me move my things out of the way and we'll get it stood up and shown off. Made such a mess. Okay, ready? Here we go. There's snow place like home. Love, love, love that silver foiling. What an absolutely beautiful card. Amazing. Thank you, Kat. It was worth it. Absolutely. We got there. We got there in <laughs> we the end, did guys. Get there. So we are at the end of our show, and I will be getting around to saying our goodbyes and our TV schedule, but I am just going to quickly run through these one last time, because I've seen a few people asking. I'm not, oh, we are back there. Promise I'm not going to take too long, but just a very, very quick rundown. With any purchase you make today only, today is the very, very last day, you get these two free element sheets. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Spend £25 and over, and not only do you get those two free element sheets, but you get the cardstock and inserts. Now, Rebecca's pinched me inserts, but I'm sure you know <laughs> what inserts are by now. So you get eight of the printed cardstock, four designs, two of each, and then the same again with the inserts, and that's for orders over £25. And then for orders over £40, you are going to get this beautifully stunning Woodland Christmas Story 8x8 paper pad. And it has got so much in there. I'm just going to do it very, 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 very quick flick. But it's got everything you need for your Christmas crafting in there. And that's if you spend £40, you're getting all three of those things, not just that book, remember. So that was just a quick run over all of them for you. And I'm going to say it one last time. Today is the very last day. So get your orders made. Right, TV schedule. 
You'll be able to find us on Hobby Maker tomorrow at 1, 3 and 5 p.m. with Pauline. She'll be taking you through our newest Lover Stamps collection, rounding up the exciting things we've shown you this month and taking another look at the Forever Florals deck, the whole collection. We love that here. Oh, we, we really it's do. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up on HD TV. Guess who it is tomorrow? Oh, it's not me and you, is it, Kat? It's me and you. <laughs> five out of five. We're back. And we're also back with Super Saver Deals. Oh, I love it. You're going to hate us. More bargains for you. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's your chance to stock up on all those essentials, and there are some fab essentials on there for you tomorrow. Tune in um, and make sure make your crafting a little easier and a lot more fun oh he's been writing this so cute right i think we're done we're, we're all done. done and dusted well we'll see you tomorrow thank you for joining us bye